All right. Uh, so, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Angel Frost uh, from Frost Cosplay. Um, I am recording this on my cell phone, so we'll see how it turns out. Uh, we're taking a break today. I'm taking a break from doing the cosplay stuff today. Uh, as you can see, I still have some stuff scattered here. Uh, but my son asked me for a shark so for school. So I'm looking at a, I don't know if you can actually see it, but I'm, I'm looking at a picture of a shark here. I'm not very much of an artist, uh, so I am going to attempt to make a cardboard shark. Um, actually, it's hot in here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, is I have been attempting to draw it, and my drawings are really bad, so I'm I'm not going to show it to you guys. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over here so that I can attempt. So what you got to do is, what I'm doing is, is I have three pieces of cardboard cut uh, at the same length. Um, you can actually, uh, whatever length you want to make your shark, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and make my shark this big because my son was like, I want a big shark. Uh, so we're going to have three pieces. Uh, plus, I have one extra one. Uh, I have one extra one here. Uh, this will be for fins and the uh, circular areas. So, what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw this out. And uh, let's see how it turns out. Uh, and I'm telling you, I'm really bad at doing this. So, we're going to start with some some circles, maybe I can make myself some, kind of like some references here, okay, and that way I can kind of, You know what, my, my shark is turning out very small, so I'm going to have to go bigger. Uh, let's see, let's go lower and bigger. So I'm going to bring my circles down here. Uh, oh man, that's going to really screw up my fins. Alright, so let me start with the fins over here, and I'll work my way the other way. I tell you what, if you run into my shark in the ocean, you're definitely gonna, not going to be afraid of him. Uh, you might even just laugh at him. Uh, my, tar my, my shark is going to be looking like the equivalent to Rudolph and, and, and his friends. Uh, so no afraid if you run into my uh, into my shark. Consistency here, because he's looking like a, a little bit of consistency in my shark. All right, well we're going to try and make this work in this shark. Okay, I'm going to add his fin here. Okay, so add his fin. Uh, and I actually don't know what this fin is called. I think it's a dorsal fin or something like that. I could be wrong, so everybody who knows about sharks will definitely uh, correct me on this. Okay, so, all right, so I pretty much got, so what I want is I really just want the outline of my shark. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and outline him now where I feel like the lines were, were good to go.
Okay. All right, so I think I've got a decent shark. Uh, I don't know. I think he's a little too fat, but uh, that's okay. We're gonna have a, a chunky, uh, a chunky shark going on here, but uh, we'll make them work. All right, you chunky shark. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is now is I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna cut this out, and uh, I'm gonna go back over trace it one more time. Cut it out. Once I get the trace done, then I will. Um, once, I'll, once I get the trace done and cut it out, I will come right back and uh, show you what to do next, all right? Okay, so, um, hi everybody, we're back again. So I went ahead and traced uh, with a marker, uh, and I went ahead and cut out uh, my shark. Uh, that's what we ended up with. Uh, make sure you can see that. Uh, there's my shark. Uh, not the most beautiful thing in the world, but, uh, eh, 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 eh. yeah, so, um, but, uh, also too, if you can kind of tell right here that, uh, I'm using really thick gray cardboard. I think if I would have used a thinner gray cardboard, this would have been a lot easier. Uh, but, uh, I think I just, uh, fractured my wrist and pulled about 500 muscle, um, you know, muscles and nerves in my arms just trying to cut this stuff. Uh, so next time I'm going to go with a thinner grade uh, cardboard. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do next is, is that I'm going to lay it on top of my first template. And uh, what we actually don't need is, we actually don't need the fins on, this, on the next two. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw them out anyways and I can just cut them out when I'm, when I'm uh, carving this. Uh, but just to have an accurate of what uh, I'm going to cut out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and trace the whole thing. So, I'll take my pencil here. I'm going to go ahead and trace my whole shark. Make sure he doesn't move. Because fish, they move a lot. You know, my fish, he's very active. Uh, he has never eaten before, so uh, right now I am uh, lunch to him. So, i got to be very careful. So, please. If you are building these or if you let your children help you build this, please be aware that sharks are carnivores and uh, your cardboard shark may bite you. So, here we go. Let's, and reminder to self, use good sharpening pencils because I'm having a hard time with this. Okay, so I'm going to go through. And trace this guy and make sure we got a good trace of the whole shark. There we go. Trace, trace, trace. Well, apparently I'm not a very good drawer, but I'm a very good tracer, so. So I got that going for me. All right, so I have now traced my shark, and there he goes. He doesn't look anything like my other shark, but that's okay. All right, so there we go. Make sure that, okay, that's roughly what he looks like, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, Jaws off to the side over here, and, uh, and here I have my trace. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm actually just going to round off the end here, right by the tail, and I will go ahead and even out this section here. So I'll just come right across there. So, so what happens is I round it off uh, right here at the tail, because I really don't need this anymore. I don't need it for the other two. And I'm gonna X out this. So I'm gonna just come right across and end up with just this section of the fish okay so once again i won't torture you guys to watch me cut this and struggle like a 60 year old man uh, so i am going to turn this off and i will come back with the other two pieces already cut 
and uh, I'll show you where we go from there. Okay, so welcome back again. Um, all right, so I have already uh, cut my three pieces. Uh, my shots are disappearing from me. So uh, here are uh, my two extra shards. You can see what I did here, and I took off the two fins. So these are actually going to go on each side of your shark. So they will end up uh, something like that. Airy, 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 airy. Okay. So, uh, all right. So now what we need to do is is you are going to make three lines. Or sorry, I'm going to do four. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, is basically where your fins are at. So he's got two little fins that come out the bottom. Uh, his two main fins that come out right, right a little bit in front of his fin. Um, and then so we want some structure pieces. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to make three lines. Uh, if you notice I've made actually a bunch of lines. But um, I made one right here behind the mouth. Um, one right almost along the fin because we're going to connect our fin there. Uh, I made one behind the fin and one more for the little fins that are going to come out the back. So what I did was, is I went ahead and measured, did, did a straight line, and then I went ahead and measured the, the, length, the, the length of that space. Um, so what I do is, is I took the length of that space, and then what you're going to do is, is you're going to take your... You're going to take your compass. <laughs> yes, I did have to look at the box. I'm an idiot, sorry. Um, okay, so you're going to take your compass. And so what I did was, is I measured out half the length. And then I'm going to take that, I'm going to make a full circle. So what you're going to end up with is, is I made one circle here. And I ended up with this. So what you're going to do is, you're going to make, for me, I did four spots where I'm going to go ahead and put my chart. So I'm going to make one, two, three, four... Uh, spots, four circles. So I should end up with four circles that will go inside of here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, is I am going to make my the rest of my circles um, so that I can go ahead and blur myself out and put a better looking face there. Um, and uh, I will make those and come right back again. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you very much. We'll be back in a minute. All right. Hi everybody. We're back. Um, because I am kind of making this up as I go, uh, I went ahead and advanced a little bit just to make sure that where I was going was actually going to work. Um, because really it's just kind of in my head and then I just kind of have to think of how to put it together. Um, so what I've done here is, is um, <clears throat> I connected our two pieces, you can see where I did that. And what I did was, is I went ahead and, um, I went ahead and uh, glued just a little piece here in the tail area, make sure you can see that. Uh, right here underneath to this piece, I went ahead and glued just a small section. You can see where it's bent at right here. Um, I just glued this section to the spot where I have it lined up at for the shark. And then what I've done is, as you can see, I did that on both sides. And then what I did was, is I went ahead and put a spacer here in the front, right above the head. Now I'm gonna take this off afterwards, but I just did this so that I can get a reference of how much I want it opened up. But right here you're going to see that now we have a three shark. So this is going to give us the, um, the depth of the shark. So we can so, uh, so now what I've decided to do now is originally what I wanted to do was is kind of a slip on. So I wanted to cut my slits in here and slip it on. But because of the way that I had thought about doing my measurements, I was gonna not, I wasn't gonna have a space on the bottom where I'd get my slits. So what I went ahead and did was, is I went ahead and drew out my lines. And what I'm gonna do is, is I drew out my three lines going out from the outside. Sorry, from the three pieces in the, in the outside and the middle. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'll give you the first part and then I'm gonna cut away and then I'll come back showing you what it looks like put together. So, we'll see how bad my, my lines are, but uh, hopefully this will work. Wait. 
I just don't trust it. I'm gonna measure it again once I can. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, okay, so real quick, I'm going to re redo this here real quick. Uh, just give me a second. Yeah, whenever you're in doubt, always double check yourself. Because whenever I doubt myself, I'm usually wrong. I'm usually wrong either way, so. To be honest, I'm surprised it's uh, come out as well as it has so far. <laughs> Alright, time for me to make my cuts. Now please be careful working with a blade. Try not to be Facebooking and and work with a blade because we don't want any Facebook related accidents to happen anymore. So, I'm just cut my three pieces here. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm gonna end up with four pieces. I think it's a little bit too too late right now. Uh, I keep mixing up three and four. So let's see which one was my right line. Now again, the nice part about this is, is that if you're a little bit off, or you did what I was about to do on my cuts where they were off, it only give your shark more character. It doesn't have to be so perfect. Uh, trust me, mine is by far, as far as you can get from perfect. 
Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my circle and I'm going to lay them in and I will then line them all the way up and they will go something like this. Okay. So that's what I should end up with right there. And uh, I will go ahead and cut away again and I will show it, come back with a couple of these finished. Okay. Alrighty. Um, also, too, if you're wondering how I'm connecting all these, uh, I'm using a hot silicone uh, glue gun. Uh, I'm using a high temp one. I don't really know if you have to. Uh, the regular glue works good, but I noticed that the high temp really gives it a, a, a fast, you know, hold. And especially with the weight I'm using, I need the extra weight on this. So uh, I will cut away and uh, put some of this more together, and uh, it's starting to look more like a shark. Uh, I'm actually very surprised, <laughs> but uh, who knows, maybe he will eat me at the end of this. Well, thank you again, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, hi everybody. Uh, so I went ahead and advanced a little bit more on here because uh, I ran into some issues, not issues, but uh, some parts that I didn't really know how I was going to put together. So let me explain to you what it is that I did here. Um, so what I did was, with our, I started with this piece here in the middle, which actually worked out in the end. Um, and what I did was, is that I measured from here to here, um, on both sides, and that gave me, I took that amount and subtracted it so I'm able to cut off these sections over here, the two half moons on each side. What I did was, is I was going to slip uh, pieces into here and here and in the front, uh, but I just I noticed that it wasn't going to work. Plus, I was going to end up with a very even circular. Now, I, I, if you can notice here, I don't know if it's that easy to tell, but uh, they're more of a of an angle doing this now. Uh, small, a little bit bigger, a little bit you know bigger, and then back to small again. Uh, so it gave it a really nice shape. So what I did was is that the same diameter that I, uh, length that I used in the middle here of separation. Um, I cut all these at the same um, width uh, on the inside. So that way I ended up with these different size pieces. Um, I went ahead and glued all of them on the outside. Once I did that, uh, I went ahead and started with the very front. Uh, so right here in the front, uh, you can see that I took and I, I cut them down. Um, I, I cut them down a centimeter on each side to still give me a nice curve, still not perfect, but still give me kind of a curve to the whole piece, so it looks like one continuous piece. Um, and once I did that, then I slipped these in, super hot, hot glued them, and then what I did was, is then I just measured these that were in the inside, took those and made the slips for the ones on the inside there. And if you notice, I didn't use any in the back too. I noticed that it's strong enough and it's so small the opening that I don't think we're really going to need it. Uh, so I went ahead and just put these which is going to be our support pieces. So as you can see we're starting to get kind of a 3D shark going on here and uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how we're coming along so far. Uh, so there's our, our, our shark um, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and um, so now the next part of this is is going to be I'm going to make the do the back fins. Now what I've done is uh, I went ahead and just kind of measured out, you know, just doing it by eye, uh, no specific. You can decide how long or how short you want your fins to be for your shark. Uh, I went ahead and made one uh, one piece, and then what I did was is I just took it, cut it out, and then made a second one identical to it. Uh, so we have two. Now, if you notice, what I did was, is I created my slit here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it into this back piece right here, and we'll go ahead and slip it on this way, and that will give us the back fin for the shark. Okay. And what we can do is, is we can kind of angle it a little bit to give it that angle that the sharks have. Uh, my picture already turned off, but uh, so I'm going to give it a little bit of an angle like this. Uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and super glue it there. So let me add a little bit of super glue here. And we'll get it inside of the crevice. And make sure, again, please be very careful with the hot glue. Um, I already burned my fingers. Man, the high temp, high, high temp glue really stings. <laughs> 
Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna bring it down so it actually touches both sides of the silicone and both sides of the cardboard um, and makes it inside the slit and give it a little bit of an angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it there for a second. Now again, you can kind of cut your cardboard at a little bit of an angle so that it sits a little bit more pressed up against uh, the cardboard and once you do sit it in an angle, I didn't do that on this one. Um, I'll go ahead and add another layer of super glue, uh, uh, silicone on the top just to give it a little bit more support. Again, uh, you know, this first one is kind of the trial and error. So, um, so there's, there's our piece right there. Um, unfortunately, I don't have another extension right here and I'm using it for a couple other things. So I'm going to bring it far over here real quick just to add my other the glue here. Okay, so now I'm going to add my piece there. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and take and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to add some glue here. Well, that it's, I better hold it so it sits in there. Now I'm debating whether or not to paint this. Um, I have a few of the colors. I don't really have the colors needed for the shark. Again, I didn't really imagine I was going to be doing a shark today. Um, so I'm not really sure if I should attack trying to attack. If I should attack trying to uh, paint it, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, I'm going to decide kind of toward the end. Uh, still bouncing around my head. We'll see how this turns out first kind of afraid to paint it and then end up ruining the way it looks uh, so we'll see uh, I actually like the cardboard look uh, but my son was supposed to take a color shark um, you know printed in color and uh, okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now again you don't have to but uh, I'm gonna try to make sure that my angles are the same and the height just to give it a little bit of consistency, so there we go. Let's get it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold this in right here. So yes, yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna do uh, if I'm gonna go ahead and color it. Uh, I'm just I don't have you know I haven't started uh, airbrushing or anything like that yet, so I don't know. I'm just afraid of ruining it. If it was really crappy, I wouldn't have, you know, I wouldn't mind, but, uh, and, you know, it came out pretty cool, so. And we're about, uh, I'm about two and a half hours into this, so. <laughs> Actually, I started about 10 o'clock, it's 1.20 right now. And unfortunately, a lot of the stuff I have to do once he's, in, once he's asleep, uh, also too, because he told me, uh, as he was going to bed that he needed a shark for school so kids will always do that so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and let this finish dry now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do the same thing maybe get a little bit more lengthier with the fin that goes here in the front so I'm going to go ahead and cut my fin that I need here I'm going to bring it around this way like this and I'm going to do I'm going to repeat the same process here just with the longer fin so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do that part of it. And I'm going to attempt to, uh, if you notice, by doing this kind of 3D version, uh, the shark really kind of sits on its own. So it's really nice if he wants to sit it like this too, so other kids and stuff can look at it or he can describe it. Um, so I think the fin is going to give it just a little bit more support. So I'm going to come down here and, and give it a little bit of support where, it's, where it can kind of touch the, the ground when he sits it on level. And, uh, and then I'm going to also debate whether or not I am going to um, put some teeth in there because I'm sure you know he wants to talk about uh, the teeth that uh, this has. And this is, and I'm going to I'm going to butcher the name because I haven't uh, practiced it, but it's Magalodon uh, shark. Uh, this is supposed to be, and that's why I made it so big. Um, this shark is supposed to be the extinct um, 60 foot monster shark uh, that disappeared during the dinosaur times. Uh, so, 
Um, so yeah, so it's coming along. I'm going to make the other pieces. I'll start putting them on. Actually, I'll go ahead and put them on so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, and then uh, by then, maybe I've decided whether or not I'm going to paint this. Uh, but I, I, I am thinking that somehow I want to make the teeth. So it'd be really cool if we can see, you know, a, a, a kind of a row of teeth in here. Um, so I'm going to kind of play with that a little bit too, and we'll see what uh, what I can come up with. Alrighty, well, be back in a few. Okay, everybody, we're back. Um, so I have cut out, and again, I just scaled as I felt it should be. Uh, again, you can do your own variations of this. Uh, this is not, uh, at, at, by any means, the the law. <laughs> But uh, so, so I went ahead and cut my pieces here. You can see where I added the other part of the fins there. And uh, so now we've got our full size shark. Uh, you can kind of see how we've got him right there. Okay, so um, I have decided to paint it. Um, I am going to, uh, I have a white. Uh, acrylic paint here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a brush on his belly of the white. Uh, I'm also going to, then what I'm going to do is, is I will go over the top, the fins uh, and the back with a silver uh, very lightly. Uh, so I'll go over the white, maybe touch over the, the, that with the uh, uh, with the gray. Then what I'll do is, is uh, maybe tomorrow once it's dry, uh, I'll go through and put um, I'll go ahead and put the uh, the eyes and maybe make the nostrils so we know that his knee, his uh, nose is way over here in the front. Um, also, too, um, I I'm thinking about putting the teeth, uh, so I will go ahead and make white teeth and uh, kind of make a row of them, and I'll just line them in. And so what I'm thinking about doing is is making uh, kind of a line like this, um, and then I'll cut out the teeth. And then what I'll do is, is I'll bend them up. So uh, actually, I'll, I'll give you guys an example here. Uh, okay, I'll save this one for what I need to do with. But uh, just to kind of give you an example of what my idea is. Again, you don't want to cut all the way down so that, that way you've got the space for it to be able to pop up. Let me show you. Let's see here. Again, I can't stress it enough. Please be very careful working with a blade. Uh, playing with sharks is cool. Not having enough fingers to, I don't know, pick your nose is not cool. <laughs> Again, I will clean up this version uh, afterwards, but I just want to do it just so I can show you guys and girls um, how I'm thinking uh, in my head that this will play out. Plus, this is a good uh, practice to see if it'll, if the concept will actually work. Okay, so what I've done is, is I cut out the little mountains here. And then what I'm thinking is, is I'll take them and again, I have to get thicker in, on the other end of them, but uh, I will uh, bend them up like this. And I would do this, that way I have, now again, maybe it might even work that I just actually glue them in there. But that way, so I can kind of show the teeth as a row. Um, I actually do it like that. So then what I should be able to do is, is right over here, is I'll take these and I'll 
put them in and that way it kind of does that look to it right there and actually I can put a, a few rows of teeth uh, just to show the kids that they're you know the teeth uh, the sharks have their various rows of teeth so that's my idea for the teeth um, so you can see that I just took them bent them and then now you have a place to put your silicone and then you can put them up underneath there so I will uh, leave those probably to the end um, so that I can paint them white uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea I might, I might I, maybe I should paint them gray at the same time and then uh, go the white over them I still haven't decided that yet uh, and then I'll paint eyes on each side paint the nose on each side and uh, and that's pretty much it so there you have it that is the cardboard shark so all right, well, I hope this was awesome. I will post at the end of the video, um, I will post a picture of my son holding his shark in the morning. Uh, it is right now 8 minutes till 2 a.m. So <laughs> I should be done here about 3 o'clock in the morning and get up at 6.30 to get him ready for school uh, and make breakfast. So exciting. Uh, but you know what? There's nothing more special than being a dad. And you know what? It's great being able to do this kind of stuff for your kids and uh, all you parents out there, uh, you know, my son loves it that he gets to take the coolest stuff to school when they do this, but I think more than anything it shows that, you know, uh, we take the time to care about what it is that they're doing at school and show them that, you know, even with their, with their projects for school they can have a good time and enjoy it and uh, the other kids are going to have a good time too, so. Um, thank you, and uh, I will start to do more videos like this, um, walkthroughs as much as I can, hopefully get a better camera than my cell phone, and uh, thank you again for watching the video, and uh, alright, we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, next time I'll show you guys what I'm doing with my cosplay stuff, alright? Thank you, and uh, don't forget to visit me at uh, facebook.com frost cosplay. Uh, frost like the snowman, Jack Frost. Alright, thank you very much. Peace.